welcome to today's vlog. It is Wednesday the 12th of February. We're almost halfway through February, can you believe it? Anyway, first let I want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers that have come over and subscribed to us. It's amazing that you've, you know, you've subscribed to us. And we want to just say a big thank you, obviously, to the Ingham family, just because if it weren't for them, they probably wouldn't have come over and subscribed anyway. But, as you know, we've made friends and I'm looking forward to the future to do more videos, more vlogs with them. But we're not too bothered if we don't. But, you know, we're friends. We're going to be, obviously, spending a lot more time together and doing a lot more things together. Doesn't mean that they're going to be in our vlogs all of the time. They probably might not be in it again for a, a year or whatever. But, obviously, we are friends and we are going to be doing stuff together. So, we'll keep you updated if we do anything. Um, but, yeah, so I just want to say a big thank you, obviously, to Chris and Sarah and the girls and Jace. Just, you know, for mentioning us and just helping us get past that 5k anyway. Which is really good. It just feels, it feels better. I could have felt like we were never going to get past that. So, just to get past that just is just amazing. Anyway, today we're going to go over to the studio because we need to... Um, start clearing everything up because obviously we've not been in there since we did the party and I need to get, I've got rid of like all of the food and stuff but it's just all the decorations and stuff like that and we've still got food over there so I'm thinking um, everything that's in the fridge I'm just going to prepare for the kids and they can just have it today for the tea because it'll all be fine. Um, so yeah I think we're just going to do that and then get cleared up, start getting that studio looking like a studio because I want to start doing like proper challenges from there as well for the YouTube channel. Obviously, it is my photography studio. So, the most of the time I am like shooting, or uh, well, obviously not shooting people, taking pictures of people. Um, so, I just want it to look presentable and start looking clean and tidy and stuff like that. Aurora's just being mischievous. She's just like, she's got this thing at the minute, if I tidy all the drawers up, she'll go back in the cupboard and pull all the drawers back out. So, sometimes I just end up, but she's actually, have you took the drawer out? You monkey. You monkey. <laughs> she's so cute. She's absolutely adorable. I just love her so much. She's so funny. Anyway, we're just going to get Aurora dressed. Um... She's just going to wear this new unicorn top that Chloe got her. This, and then just some grey leggings. Oh, don't know where the camera was going then. Some grey leggings, some tights. She's already got a clean vest on because I put a clean vest on her this morning and put a new babe girl on her because she was just, she had a breakfast all over the show. Yes. Oh, thank you. And then we gave her for the first time today for a dinner because it's like it's a bit later on in the day we're not like vlogging dead early in the morning but I gave her a dinner a bit early today so I made her a cheese and onion pie um, and oh my god she just she loved it it was the first time she's ever had one but she's just she like guzzled it I don't know what she's done oh, as I was saying she guzzled it down um, but she went to sleep this afternoon and I don't know whether she's woke up and caught a face but she scratched the nose. Didn't you? Show him your nose. She's got this scratch here. So I think, I don't know if she's like gone to rub her eyes and caught her nose. But I kind of looked and there was nothing there. And when I come back, you had a scratch. So she must have done it while she was asleep. Yes, you must have. She's so cute. Who is this? <gasps> is this, um, is it... Sophia or Sophie or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Um, yes? Um, it's so cute. Look at the state of the living room. She's literally just got every. She gets everything out. This is about the only corner that's tidy. Oh, look how they just tidied it up, didn't I? Yes. Yes. You're so cute. Say hi, guys. Uh. Say hi, guys. Say guys! Say guys! <laughs> anyway, we're going to carry on. So, obviously, I've, I've said this morning, um, 
like welcome to the new subscribers and stuff so i just want to introduce me i'm sarah so i'm mum and then you've got david who is dad and then you probably won't see them all in the vlog because some of them don't live here but there is 10 children so there is chelsea chloe liam imogen mason portia oscar alpha <laughs> Who is it, Alpha, Vanellope and Aurora? So there's ten children all together. So we have six six girls, four boys. Six girls and four boys. Um so yeah, so Chelsea lives with her partner and Chloe lives with her boyfriend. So and then Liam's like in college all the time or is over at his dad. So He's hardly ever in the vlogs because he either, he either stays over at his dad's playing on the computer or he just can't be bothered getting out of bed. That's usually the way it is, or he's in college. So, but yeah, Chelsea has her own little baby as well. She has a little boy. Um, so yeah, we are grandparents as well. So I just thought I'd let you know, just in case you knew and you're wondering who everybody is and why there's one child in one vlog if you've gone back to old vlogs and why they're not here in this vlog and stuff like that. Um, obviously you'll notice that there's no comments on which is a bit disappointing because it would have been nice to interact with any new subscribers as well. Um, but you can get us on social media like Instagram and Facebook if you want to follow us on there and then you can message us um, on any of the like pictures or the posts or anything like that. We're also just set up a new TikTok account We've not actually put anything on it yet. We were trying to put the video that we did with the Inghams um, on there. But for some reason, when I'm putting it on my account, it keeps coming up saying that the music isn't acceptable in this country. Although, Isabel's got it. Portia's got it. And I think Esme's got it. I'm not too sure how many other accounts it's on. Um, but when we came home that night, that video was literally played and must... It, it must have been about 4,000 times, seriously, it was like constant. It started to do me head in after a bit, I mean the video was really good, it was funny. Um, but they did like, they were just killing it, seriously. Porsche was playing it over and over and over and over and over. And I thought it was never ever going to end. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm trying to sort that out, I've asked Porsche why it's doing it, I don't know whether I've got to... What are you doing, baby? <laughs> what are you doing? She was coughing. Um, I thought she was choking then, but she weren't. She was coughing on her own spit. I'll oh, put the fingers down the front. So I need to get Porsche. I don't know if you've got to upload the music yourself onto the video again. Just so it kind of overrides it. So I don't know. I'll find some way of doing it later on. Or oh, today. I've never ever used TikTok. So when I downloaded it, after about 10 minutes, it already started doing me head in. I'd rather just get the kids to just deal with it. <clears throat> so we are on TikTok. There is a link in the description if you want to go and follow us on there. Um, like I said, the link is in there for Instagram and Facebook. So you can go and follow us on them as well. <coughs> I'm sorry if my throat sounds really groggy, but it's just... I cannot get rid of this flu. So I know I keep saying I'm going to go to the doctors, but I think it is about time that I went. I think I've had it for about eight, nine weeks now. But when I cough it just it's so bad it's like continuous but my ribs are so so it's unbelievable I've coughed that much and I actually feel like I've coughed that much I'm losing weight like rapidly um so yeah I think about going get that checked Anna just to be safe and make sure it's not anything more serious but they say it can be bronchiolitis like in adults which lasts can last up to like seven to eight weeks um so hopefully it's just something like that. But yeah, definitely gonna go and have it checked out. You're gonna make a mess now. Are you gonna make a mess now? I don't mind. No. You're so cute, so you can make so much mess. I <laughs> guys. Guys. Do you like you guys? Say Oh, you're waving to him. Say hi. Oh, say oh. Oh. Uh, Give him a hug. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I'm not the guys, but you can give me a hug. Yeah, she keeps hugging me. She wakes up in the morning, she goes, Aww. She pats me on the head now. She goes, she gets up her hand on the back of my head and goes, Aww. Aww. 
Oh, I love ya. I love ya. Anyway, guys, we are gonna get Aurora dressed and then we're gonna wait for Dave to come back from school once he goes. And then once he comes back, then we're gonna head over to the studio, quickly do a clean up, and then I think we're gonna do like some Wii games or stuff like that. Just because the Wii is over there. So I think we'll just have a bit of family time while we're over there because there's so much more space and we can play on the Wii and stuff like that and just have some food over there, which is great because we've got a kitchen. So it's almost like being at home. It's like going from one home to another home, isn't it? But it's like homies. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go over there and clean up. Yeah, that's basically what we're going to do, clean up. And we need to really think about how we, how, how I want to decorate the studio room. Obviously it's going to stay white, but I just want to put some, like where the shelves are in that room, I'm taking them down and, and I've seen some like really nice bookshelves in Ikea, I think like £19 per shelf. So we're going to cut the skirting board out and push them against the wall so we can have like ornaments going down them or like picture frames of pictures that I've taken so people get an idea so it's like almost having a portfolio on show in the room which will be nice and it'll just make that room look a little bit better also where the TV is I want to kind of do something with that I want to kind of box that TV in so it just looks prayer and you kind of don't know that it's there and then I want to get a new unit to go underneath obviously that unit that's there now is just temporary but I want to get a nice like gloss units go underneath there don't know when that would don't know when that will be sorry um but hopefully not too long so we'll see you when we get over to the studio and start cleaning okay so rory's dressed now and i just want to show you how cute she looks show me how cute you look oh my god you're so beautiful can I see? Ah, oh, let me see. I gotta stand up so I can see. Let me see. Oh, Chloe will think you look so cute. Yes. <laughs> You're so cute. Stand up, let me see. Woo woo! <laughs> I don't know what it is, but she keeps trying to climb up here. So. This window is constantly locked. We, well, we used to have it open in the summer, but obviously now we've got the baby. We keep it constantly locked. Just because there is a massive drop on the other side of that window. In the baby. Yes. You look so cute. We better clean this glass. Look at your finger marks on that. So I think we'll do that now. Before we go, I'd say bye. Say bye. 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 Say bye guys. Bye guys. Ah, oh, you're so good. You're so clever. I can't stand up on her own. You're so clever. Come here, you're gonna walk to mummy. Come on then. Come on. Let me see. Me hand. No, you Yay! <laughs> you tried. Okay guys, we're over at the studio now. I'm missing his stuff. The balloons. He's a good job. I said to him, don't pop the silver ones because the glitter will go everywhere. You know what these glittery balloons are like? It's just hammered. Ah, oh. doesn't it look pretty? Done a good job there, son, making that look good. <laughs> but look at all this in here. You imagine if we pop that, it'd just go everywhere. Go on, see what it does. Oh, you're getting married, son. <laughs> do you have a good day at school today? Yeah. What did you do? Maths, PE, English, handwriting, that's history, and that's it. That's it? Mm -hmm. Are you missing Oscar? No. Ray? Uh, I can't see you when the balloon goes in your face. Stand still. Stop lying. Yeah, you are. You didn't want to go to bed last night because you were scared. Being on your own. Did you? Can you stand still? I'm like this with the camera. Woo! So we're just gonna. Oh, don't really need to do anything to these jars. We just need to put them away basically because they're empty. Um, most of the rubbish is all put together. It's basically just putting stuff away that I want to keep. 
like the birthday signs, putting all the props back away and yeah, that's basically it. And then Dave refilled the number one helium balloon. What I'm gonna do is, I might just let this down and I'm gonna keep it and then I can use it in um, other photo shoots that I do. I don't know how long it'll last keeping you filled up with helium, but you know, if we can make some at last, it's a bonus. Anyway, let's get cracking and get the studio spick and span. <laughs> in for a little minute so we have done the majority of everything let me just shut this kitchen door otherwise aurora will be in there <coughs> and the oven's on the oven's on sorry um so the kids have just had some pizza um they're gonna have some birthday cake and they're gonna have some fruit because there's some fruit left from sunday so, and it's still in date, so I think it don't go out of date till tomorrow, so we can get it all used today. So, we've got all this down, just need to take the bolt off the wall. Majority of everything else is down now. All this is moved. Near enough, everything is back to normal. It's just a matter of getting rid of these balloons now. Cleaning the tables, going over with the hoover once more time, and then just getting rid of all the rubbish, and then there's some stuff down here I need to wash. And then obviously this chair needs to go back home. But I'm in two minds whether to just sort some stuff out in the house and bring it back over to the studio. So when I do come here with Aurora, she's got something to play with because there's hardly anything here for her to play with. And when I end up coming, I feel like she's just wandering around doing nothing. Um, so I really need to set like a, a drawer in that room. Just filled with like some familiar toys that she really likes playing with. Even if you have to buy extras because she likes playing with it at home. But she's got so many toys at home now that we really need to um, just sort them out and bring some air. Anyway, Imogen is, I don't know what she's doing, freestyle. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing with your sister? She's got the ball in her mouth. <laughs> what? what are you doing? Shaking her. Are you playing rugby? Nah. Nah. Hey. Nah. Where's my American football? <laughs> See, my kids are not normal. They just roll around floors and entertain themselves. Anyway, I'm gonna put the wheel in, in a minute. Yes, are you gonna have a go? Yes, because we're nearly clean now. Oh, say hi guys. Say hi. <laughs> say hi guys. <laughs> oh, look, there's Daddy. Are you, you going to play ball with Daddy? How are you, darling? Where's the door? Better now, fix two oh, fingers. Come here, come here. Third one next. I love you. 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 Give me a kiss. Mwah. Can I have a kiss? Blow your kisses. Look, she does what this have now. I got here? What have I got on? Where's Imogen's eyelashes? Where's my eyelashes? Look, what are these? What are these? Chris? <laughs> she just pulled that right off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take the real ones off as well. <laughs> She literally just get pinches them and goes, <laughs> pulls them right on. You're so cheeky. You're so, Show us on she's actually again. obsessed with doing that, isn't she? Do you, do you use your bottle as much? I've not even used it yet. Because my things come out, look. It's come out. You're not having mine. I was going to take vanilla piss. <laughs> no, you're not. Can I? Well, is Shame. it? What's supposed to go in it? No, you can't. She you does use it. She uses yours. No, she uses hers all the time. No, she doesn't. I'm going to use mine tonight. I need to. Right, well, uh, can I have Penelope's? Because she doesn't even. She uses yours. She doesn't even use her. Nah. Yeah. You can't take something off her when you bought it for her. Exactly. That's... I bought it. Right. 
But that's your own fault if you've lost your bit. Well, can you, um, can you buy me? Can you buy me? I know, Mum. What is it? I don't know. Mum, I know. Mum. She's lost a bit out the top of a bottle. So she's saying that she's either going to pinch mine off and help her. So that's it now. Just like both the bottles so she can't pinch it. What is it? Like a little stopper? Rubber thing? Yeah. Well, is it not in the dishwasher? No, it's not also in the dishwasher. Okay, guess what? What? No, you haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't. Of course, she's got a boy brain. That's going to be mad. No, you haven't. You <laughs> said it to buy me up. You said it to buy me up. She's got a boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, Casper. Casper? He's alright. He's called Casper. He's Polish. He's Polish. No, Oh my god. That, why? That doesn't mean anything because it's Polish. It might be really nice. It could be anything. It could be nice. Anyway. <laughs> just got to push her up for having a boyfriend. What to see what that reaction was. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, anyway. I don't think there's much else to tell you. Apart from, we're still cleaning and we'll be done. So I should imagine in about 10 minutes it'll be all sorted and then we can go on the way for a little bit. So, hey, what's she doing? <laughs> what's she got? No, she wants a whole bar. She didn't eat it yesterday, you didn't give me it yesterday, you have to go. She'll bat here. I'll give you a little bit. Come here, let me break it for you. <laughs> no, she doesn't want a little bit, she wants a whole thing. Ah, oh, yum yum. Yum yum. Is that nice? Do you like chuck chuck? No. Do you like chuck chuck? She's fuming that she's yeah. got a little bit. We've seen her saying, yeah. Go on, chuck chuck. I love you. Say bye bye to everybody. Say bye bye. Oh. Bye bye. Oh. You're so cute. So we're here. I'm eating some pizza. It's a um, vegetarian variety from Iceland for two pounds. Why you being an idiot? All right, guys, we sat down now eating. Well, I'm eating, Sarah's eating cake. And if she tries to lie to you, you can clearly see there that there's massive mouse bites <laughs> out of the cake. I'm just eating some pizza. It's like a vegetarian type one from um, Iceland. I've fixed three of the printers. I'll go and show you in a minute which ones and show you the big one that's come. Burnt my lip, actually. So Aurora is trying to get down because in here it's like a big, well, like a big playground for you in here, innit? No, she loves it now. She's one of them things that came on. Don't ya? Mason was just Oi, saying that. Oi, Squidge. Why can't we have Christmas dinner here because you could fit so much food on the table? You could. Imagine it all stretched down here. Deli dogs. Like the Grinch's table. Deli dogs. <laughs> Deli dogs. Hey. Like the Grinch's table. Yeah. I need another stick. Another so I just spoke to the head teacher as well about Oscar. I've seen a couple of pictures of him online and um, I just wanted to double check that he was alright and Mr. Well, the head teacher said that he was fine. He's, he's having a real good time, which is fantastic. Okay. What? Oh, an Imogen's eating um, cake with chopsticks and with Doritos on it. There's something not right with you. Is it? What? Babe. I don't know why you're pointing at your cake, Vanellope. You're not you're eating cake, but you're not eating it with a chopstick or with Doritos. She's got a huge piece, you know. I'm seeing how small she is. The cake's bigger than her. Imagine eating cake Oreo. Oreo cake's amazing. Alright, I've been promising an update and threatening it. Threatening it. Need to get my teeth in. But yeah, I'm in the studio. Um, I don't think you've seen the Anacubic Predator properly. It is an absolute monster. So as you can see, this is the Anacubic Predator. It's around three foot tall. It's an amazing beast of a machine. It is currently printing a phase 
to Corn Trooper Helmet, which I'm going to be honest with you, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And to some people, this is just going to seem like a just the shape on the build plate. But what this is doing now is this in the middle is all the um, support structure for when you get to the top of the helmet where the dome is. If you can see all the honeycomb around, that's the support for under the chin at the front um, and around the back there for the and where the antenna is going to go and the there's like a bit of greebly at the back. But I can already I already know by looking at the first layers that it's laid down that this print is going to be exceptional when it's finished. It's going to take around a kilogram of filament, but the great thing is it's right at the top there. Just here, there is a filament detection sensor. So that basically means that this roll of filament here isn't quite one kilogram. So you're going to have to use probably another three quarters of a roll to get the rest of this out. But what it does mean is once this filament has finished, it will stop. It will move its print head right the way to the top and then I'll be able to put the new filament in. I've also got some of that on order. I have fixed this over here. This is the end of two. This is an absolutely fantastic little printer. Um, and what was wrong with it was this arm here was a little bit wobbly so I took the whole unit off, screwed it in. This one down here, the Monoprice Mini, I've also fixed that but this is the problem with it. It burned out the hotbed. The hotbed wasn't heated up properly so I spoke to John at the end of the corridor who's a master electrician and he will be fixing it for me tomorrow so that printer will be fixed and it'll be ready to go. The enders now Two, one of the enders is fine, the other two I'm going to order two new hot ends. They've needed extruders now for about six months because I've, I actually run these printers into the ground. I really do. Over here, this printer, the Copybus 300, is printing the Mandalorian helmet. For those of you that follow Star Wars, you will not have been able to go anywhere without knowing about the Mandalorian. This is also printing parts for Django Fett's backpack, jetpack. This is printing the Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. The rifle for the Cylon, I've already printed as well. The pistol for the Cylon. And you can see these two down here. This is an Anacubic i3 Mega. Over there we've got another Anacubic i3 Mega. They are both printing off a set of Black Widow gun holsters. I've also done the Berettas, I'll show you them in a minute, the Glock 22s. Um, and the other one is printing off some knee guards for a Mandalorian armor set. So I'll show you the Glocks quickly. All right, so I had a girl come over on Friday with her dad. She came all the way from Warrington and she's doing a Black Widow cosplay outfit and she wanted some Glock 22 pistols. I've finished the Glock 22 pistols. These are them here. This is the first one. Obviously, Black Widow has two. And we've done the two Glock 22s for her. Came out amazingly well, really did. This is a new blue that I'm using. Kind of like it, but I don't really like printing off masters in colour. These are bits from the Cylon pistol. This is the handle from it, as you can see there. My prints are, a bit, well, they're known to be um, amazing. Amazing across the world. These are fantastic prints, as you can see. Look at the detail on that. It's like glass. So they're done. I've also finished off as well. The Mandalorian Beskar, this is the thigh armour, which obviously goes on your thigh at the top, but it's looking absolutely amazing. They're going off to the guy in West Yorkshire, I think. <laughs> Not that part of West Yorkshire. He's a police officer. He's going to be picking them up. He's not actually picking them up, they're getting sent off to Tony who does all my painting. Tony's going to be making them look even better than I can do when I print stuff off. So. I'm done with the update on the, um, the studio. Aurora is kicking off and I'm about to nip home and get Vanellope, aka Winx, asleep. Okay guys, I've been on for a little while now, so the girls are just being idiots. She's actually rolling, oh she's rolling Imogen up in the rug. Anyway, Aurora's gone to bed. Alf is upstairs playing on his Switch or something. Well, he's watching YouTube or something. He's gonna watch that for a little bit until he has to go to sleep. And Mason's just sat here doing what he usually does. Usually talking to his girlfriend or whatever. Usually until nine o'clock. Yeah, usually till nine o'clock because there's rules in this house where the phone goes off at five. It don't go back on till seven. Then now we get from seven till nine. And he seems to think that's a really bad room, but 
Yeah. Not in our eyes. It's it a real good thing. It's not. It's not embarrassing at all. Very embarrassing. No, it's not. Well, you know what? The rule is that under our roof, it's our rules. When you move out, you'll have your own rules and be able to do what you want. Yeah, you won't be Hopefully, Imogen buys me a phone next year so she's in charge. She's not. She is. She's not. She will be. It'll be my phone. I'll be taking it off her. You won't. Anyway, we're just going to check out what the girls are doing because they're just like, they're in one of them crazy, stupid moods tonight. And Portia literally just farted <laughs> and it smelled like dog poo. No, it didn't. It, it did. Fat. She wants to do her exercises again. I'm just doing the side. What's this called? Your back. No, what's this called? Your shoulder blade. That's your shoulder blade, is it? Your yeah. Shoulder blade. It's called your shoulder blade. We you should know this when you're doing. Um, Health and social care. I'm very disappointed. Seriously, what are my kids doing? Don't, she'll drop you now because she's laughing. Everybody. Oh, are you tired, Max? Are we keeping you up? Hey. Come on. Best off putting your feet on her stomach. So she's Ow. so she's leaning on him. Sorry, expert. <laughs> no, Good fitness that. So you can imagine what I have to put up with on a daily basis, especially when Imogen just got one of these crazy heads on her. It's not very often. Well, I say that, but it is quite often actually. Anyway, we've got our little Maxi set here with Mama, haven't we? Hey, you're sitting with his mummy at night, don't you? Hey, hey. He's so cute. So if none of you have met Max. This is Max, the Siamese cat. Um, he is five now. She's six this year. Yeah, he's, in fact, he's six soon. Well, not too soon, but just not long before Vanellope will be six. He will be six because he was about 12 weeks old and we got him about four weeks before Vanellope was born. So, yeah, he's six, I don't know what that is in cat years. About under and summer, probably. Oh, probably less, I don't know. I don't understand all that stuff, me. Um, How many years is it in cat years? But yeah, it's, um, it's going to be six this year. I can't believe it. I believe he's been with us that long. He's so good. 
is such a loving cat. As soon as we wake up in the morning and Aurora gets out of bed and I sit her in our bed, he jumps up straight away and come and lies with her. It's just so cute. I really keep meaning to take the camera down with me and because I really want to start like getting up and vlogging straight away even if I look like deaf. Um, because so many things that happen when I first wake up and funny things that um, Aurora does that I'll be gutted if I don't catch. And yeah, anyway, so every time I seem to vlog just lately, I've always got some food, kind of food on my mouth. <laughs> oh, it's just tonight. Uh, yesterday, in yesterday's vlog, I don't know if you noticed, but I had like, I don't know, it must have been like whatever the f fluff was off the sandwich when David f put it in my face. And it was in, it must have been here for ages. And I thought, oh my God, I've been vlogging with that there all day, almost. But yeah, and then I've just had something there on my chin, I've only just realized, so at least I noticed, unless it's a spot. I keep coming out in like loads of spots. Um, the other thing is, I wanted to tell you, I've been, so I've got my watch back on and I told you the other day about it being um, burning my wrist. And we looked it up because Somebody in box me said there was an article on it saying that a lot of people had had exactly the same thing. And apparently it happens if you've got the watch on too tight. But if you loosen it, then it's meant to feel better. So anyway, I've loosened it and hopefully it will um, start clearing up. But it seems to feel better. It's not been like itching or burning. So that's a good start. Um, so we'll just see whether I need to stop saying that though. Really, just keep saying um, all the time. You Bless you. Just needs in my face. Do you don't have your face in the way. Do you know she needs to cover her mouth? You need to tell her it's respect. Respect. Cover your face when you sneeze. And you didn't What to sneeze? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go for a little while. Um, I'm gonna wait for Dave to come back. He's just nipped to get the baby some um, snacks and stuff because we've run out. <laughs> And then we need to go shopping tomorrow because we've run out of food. Well, we haven't run out of food, obviously. We've got food in the house, just not enough food in the house. Um, oh, there's nothing convenient for Imogen to make. Like, yeah, she literally like needs something in the cupboard where you can go in the kitchen. And it just falls out into her hand. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll check back in, shall we? All right, so I'll come upstairs just to show you the outfit. He doesn't want to sleep upstairs while Oscar's not with him, so he's uh, kind of like hunkered down in there with Mason. You comfy down there? Yeah? Just chilling with Mason. Not long now. He'll be home in uh, what, a day and a half. But you can't wait, can you? You've been buzzing when he's coming home. I know. As soon as he is, Oscar's coming home. Running upstairs, up and downstairs, <laughs> it has been it has been quiet about him. <laughs> so as you know, he's back on Friday. I can't wait to go pick him up on Friday. I just think that tomorrow, once I've got tomorrow out of the way, then I'm gonna go pick my boy up. I really can't wait to go pick him up and see him. Uh, like I said before, lots of a couple of his pictures. He looks a bit apprehensive, but I think you'll be all right. I think you'll be all right, but I really can't wait to see him on Friday. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So is Sarah as well, and uh, so is Alpha. So I am going to end today's vlog. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell. It does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can, and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.